everyone. Today we're going to create a mask inspired by the work of Kimmy Cantrell. Um, he works with clay when he builds his masks and he really likes bright colors. He's also very inspired by kind of his tribal roots, um, looking at some of the, I think, the more traditional African mask making. Um, he also makes sure to express emotion with the eyes. Um, you'll always find that the lips on his mask are used, um, he uses red for those. And he does add some sort of design features and some patterns. And then one of the biggest things about his masks is that they are not symmetrical, meaning the face is not the same on both sides. And he does that on purpose um, because typically people's faces are symmetrical. And we consider the face that is the most symmetrical to also be the most beautiful um, when we talk about beauty and how it's been looked at in the past. So he actually thinks that it's more important to focus on the beauty that we find when things aren't perfect. And so rather than trying to make everything perfect and symmetrical and the same on both sides, he makes sure that everything is asymmetrical, meaning it's not the same on both sides. So that's a very important part of his mask making process. So when we get started today, we are going to be using a cereal box. So you're gonna wanna use a cereal box. Um, and I've already opened up both ends of it so it's flat right now. You're also gonna want a black marker and then either some crayons or if you have them, you can use oil pastels. They do show up a little bit better on the cardboard, um, but crayons work just fine too. And then you're also gonna want this glue bottle. And I'm gonna be using this roll and draw sheet here that I've created to kind of play a game. So I'm also going to need to find a dice to play the game with. Um, if you don't have a dice, you can always just pick things out as well. So when you get started, you're going to have to get the cereal box ready first. Um, so you'll also need a pair of scissors. And I've got my scissors right here. So when you get started, you're gonna wanna open the cereal box up. So that means um, taking apart the side. So usually one of the sides is actually kind of glued together here. If you can't find that, you can always just cut down the side too, that's fine. We, we wanna open this box up. <clears throat> we're gonna be using both sides of the box. So on one side, we're gonna actually make the shape for the mask, and on the other side, we're gonna make the eyes, nose, and mouth pieces. So when you get started, and this is where I'm gonna kinda get started here, I wanna make my face shape. So I'm actually gonna draw a line down the middle. So I'm working on this half of the box. I'm gonna try and use the side of my marker to get more of a thicker line. I'm gonna make that line down the middle. Now. We don't want both sides to be the same, so you want kind of a different shape on each side, and it's up to you to decide what that shape is. And it, it can be very organic and kind of flowing, or you can be um, very straight and geometric, so it's kind of up to you. So once you've got that taken care of, um, on the other side of the cereal box, you're gonna be building the features. So if I play the roll and draw game, I've got my dice here, first thing I'm gonna roll for is an eye. So I got a three. So I'm gonna do this three eye, and I can see it starts with a circle. I wanna make these kind of big. I don't wanna make them too small. I want them to be something I can cut out. Um, and then I see a line across the middle, and then the pupil, I got the iris and the pupil there in the middle. All right, so then I roll again for the second eye. Oh, look at that, I got a three again. All right, this eye is different. So this one is more, um, I'm gonna start with the line in the middle here. And it's kind of like a rainbow on top and a rainbow on the bottom. And then the eye is actually on the top in this one. And then I have a sort of a small decoration here at the bottom. It's kind of almost like circular eyelashes. All right, so now then for the third roll, I'm gonna be making a nose. I got a six, so I'm gonna draw this nose here. It's kind of like a really tall rainbow and then circle in the circle and some lines up the side here. And then the last thing is for the mouth. I got a two, so I'm gonna draw the line in the middle first. I'm gonna kinda come up and then dip and then back down and then curve down below. Now, the last part, the fifth roll is for a pattern. So I'm gonna go back over to this side here. Oh, I forgot to do this step here. I was gonna divide this one line on each side. This gives me more space for pattern. Okay, so the six is the dot pattern. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put that up here. 
If you want to make more than one pattern, you certainly can. You can just roll again. So it would be my sixth roll. Oh, I got a six again. I'm going to re-roll that one. Ah, I got a one. So maybe over here, it's kind of like an ex exclamation point, but upside down. And then I'll do another row down below here. All right. So you can do that there on the face. Now, once you are done using this, you are going to get your scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut these two pieces apart. I think it'll be easier then for me to cut. All right. So now I want to cut right on the edge of the black line. And, you know, if you need a little help with this, you can certainly ask someone for help. Um, cereal boxes are fairly easy to cut out. They're not too thick. If I were going to use like a packing box, that would be really thick. It'd be kind of hard to use. All right, so I'm trying my best to stay right on the edge of the black line. Okay, so there is the mask. And then, same thing here. I like to actually split these things apart before I cut them so that it's a little bit easier to cut around the shape. So I'm just gonna kind of break these into pieces. And then it's easier for me to focus on just one shape at a time. And I'm not trying to turn that big box. Just remember, you're turning the thing that you're holding, the, in this case, the cardboard. The scissors should just kind of stay right out in front of you with your thumb up. And I only close the scissors part way when I'm doing my cutting. I don't snap them closed because then I lose my spot. So I always just do it kind of halfway. I always think of it like a fish breathing underwater. All right, so there's my first eye. And then my second eye. <clears throat> and then the mouth. And the nose. All right, so once I've got these pieces cut out, I'm gonna move my scraps out of the way here. So um, before I actually glue things on, I'm gonna do the coloring. Um, and like I said, crayons work fine. They will definitely show up. Um, they don't show up as well. So you can kind of see the white there. Um, the colors are gonna work a little better. You can see the green. If you have oil pastels, those are gonna be a little bit brighter. So. Um, you can see the white here on the oil pastel is a little bit brighter. But basically, you wanna color the parts. Um, and remember, you can use very bright colors. This does not need to be realistic. So, you know, you can choose some of your favorites and color. I try to stay off the black lines as much as I can. <clears throat> but if a little bit gets on there, it's not a big deal. So you're gonna be coloring all your pieces. Um, if you remember, Kimmy Cantrell always does the red for the lips. Um, he thinks that's an important thing to show. And then once you've got everything colored, you can kind of see in this one, I've got all my different parts colored. Um, then you are gonna figure out how you wanna arrange things. So <laughs> remember, we're trying to be asymmetrical. So that means it's not gonna be the same on both sides. Um, and you can see like the mouth is off to one side here. Um, the eyes aren't always evenly placed, not to mention they're also not the same shape. Um, and I think I'm gonna put one up here. And then they can also go off the edge as well. So I'll do it maybe more like that. All right, so then once you kind of figure out where you want your pieces, then you can kind of flip them over one at a time and glue them on so that when you're done, you have a mask like this. All right, I hope you have fun. I'll see you later.